Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Katie and I'm the Organic Esthetician. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you two new facial gadgets. I'm very excited about both of these. So as requested, I'll be walking you all through the new MyLift QT device. This is a handheld at home FDA approved microcurrent device that uses two different waveform blends to give you a very comprehensive microcurrent treatment at home. It also works with all of the MyoLift attachments. In addition to that, I'll be showing you a quick demo of a treatment that I've been doing on myself. My treatment focuses on my two areas of concern, which is minimizing fine lines and wrinkles on my forehead and lifting and contouring the lower part of my face. But before we jump into that, I have a brand new device that I think is really cool. And I think a lot of you are going to appreciate and it's called the High Mirror. So High Mirror was generous enough to send me one of their mirrors and also sponsor today's video. So thank you High Mirror for allowing me to create more videos for all of my subscribers. I am so appreciative. I'm pretty excited about this and I can't wait to show you all how I think this could be incorporated into your routines at home. This is much more than a mirror. It's a smart mirror. So once you open it up, you have a smart screen on one side and a mirror on the other. All right, now I'm gonna show you all of the cool things this guy does. Here's our high mirror. So there's two different ways of setting this up. When you slide out your mirror, you have a mirror on one side and a smart touch screen on the other. You can have it in this layout where the screen's on one side and then to the right is the mirror, or by simply rotating this back panel down to the side like this, you're able to have your touch screen on the bottom and your mirror up top. I found that I really like the side-by-side -side layout and so that's what I've been using. Now to turn on your device, there is a button right here at the top. You're just gonna click it and your device will turn on. All right, so when you first turn on your device, it's gonna prompt you to set up an account, um, verify your email address, it'll ask you some questions. It'll scan your face for facial recognition, just like your iPhone. This is a touch screen interface. It really is so cool. Okay, so this is the back button. So say you open a application and you wanna go back, you just hit this little arrow and it takes you back to the page you were at before. This button in the center is your home button. It'll always take you back to this screen right here. Here on the end is your lights. So you can either turn up the brightness of your beauty lights, turn up the warmth, cool down the intensity, however you would like them. This is great if you are doing your makeup or maybe you're doing a MyoLift QT tutorial and you wanna follow along with me while you do it. All right, so here's your home screen. You have your local temperature the local time. It even has a kind of a media feed down here. And then here are a selection of applications that you're able to use with your high mirror device. So the first is a skin analyzer. Center your face within the guidelines. That's it, please hold still. So here it gives me my scores. They use a number rating from 60 to 100. So 100 is the best, here I am with 100 on my redness, and 60 is fine lines and wrinkles. So this is an area that I need to work on. And for each one, it gives you a summary, tips, and recommends products. So you can see here, if I click on dark circles, it shows me the dark circles under my eyes. My right eye is worse than my left. It doesn't say don't get a puppy, the easiest way to not have dark circles under your eyes. And then here it shows you some tips on how to prevent or treat dark circles. It also gives you product recommendations, which I think is really neat. It shows me all of the pores on my face that it analyzes. I'm doing pretty good on pores, 92 out of 100, not bad. Wrinkles, 
Not so bad either. A little bit more on my forehead. Again, this is my area of concern. I'm gonna focus on my forehead later when I do my Myelif QT treatment. Um, we already did red spots, 100% roughness. 68, I have some texture issues apparently. Again, my right cheek, a little bit worse than my left. And here with fine lines, this is an area that I should maybe focus on. So as you can see with the percentages, it's mostly on my right eye, which is the side of my face that I sleep on at night. Um, another great reason for swapping to my Mulberry Silk pillowcase. Our last section is dark spots. Dark spots, I'm 83%, not so bad with my pigmentation, although it is worse on my left side. My left side is my driving side, so that definitely makes sense. Now, with the recommendations, I'm able to click on a product. Hey, look, there's a skin scrubber. You guys all know I love these. And then I can go right here and shop that product directly on Amazon. I can even hook up my high mirror to my Amazon account and to my Alexa. I can talk to Alexa while I'm using my high mirror and purchase products directly through this interface. So then there's this app called Skin Safe. You can access it through the homepage interface or through each product page. And what this does is tell you if there are any known irritants that are gonna cause topical irritation to your skin. Now there's the high skin. This is a, an additional device that you can purchase that actually works topically to analyze your skin. It talks to the app and will give you minute by minute updates on hydration and skin health that the skin analyzer is not able to see on its own. Then there's the beauty box. So this is really cool. You can actually just scan your product. To add a product, you're just gonna hit the plus button. We can type it in manually and search it, or I'm gonna hit my barcode and now I've added in my oven peel pads. I can say that I am currently using them and then I can add an expiration reminder in 12 months from opening to let me know that I need to order a new jar of peel pads. It gives you, again, the recommendations based off of your skin analysis and you're able to favorite products to jump straight to those items. There's also, just like the high skin skin analyzer, there's also a scale, like a smart scale that you can purchase through highmirror.com. And not only does it track your weight, it'll track all your metrics through the device. Here we have the makeup studio. So this allows you to take a picture of yourself here I took a picture earlier, and now I can virtually try on makeup. Before I put it on, I can try it out. We all know I love a bold red lip. So another fun feature that the High Mirror offers. There's also High Tube, which just pops you directly over to High Mirror's YouTube channel when you click on it. So this shows you all of the High Mirror videos and tutorials. Facebook, Skin Safe, Spotify, you can listen to music right here. Instagram, Google Duo, WhatsApp, Pandora, Horoscope, you can track your period through flow, all these different things. But what I think we're all gonna use this for, other than the skin analysis, because that is wildly cool and very helpful, we're gonna watch YouTube. Because I know a lot of you follow along to my tutorials while you're using your device. And especially if you're using a device like a Ferreo device or the MyLift QT where you need your phone to turn on your device through the app, now you have a way to watch one of my tutorials while your phone is being used during an app. So a very cool way to be able to watch a tutorial and perform a routine at the exact same time. All right, so if any of you are interested in purchasing a high mirror, I'm gonna put the link down below. You get $20 off your purchase and free shipping now through December 27th. So I'm gonna put all of those links down there in case any of you wanna try out a high mirror for yourself. And I also think it would make an amazing gift this Christmas. All right, what comes with your MyoLift QT? So this is the box that my QT came in. It tells you all the things that are inside. Now your box might be different because I was part of a like first 
phase of people trying out the device before it actually launched. I think that what actually comes in the kit is slightly different than what I received. So I'm gonna go off of what is available online right now, cause that's what I assume all of you have purchased. You get your MyLift QT handheld device, a lead wire, your lead wire, plugs in to the bottom of your device like this. Other end plugs into your attachments. So eye mask, lip mask. I still don't have a forehead conductivity mask, but I believe that comes in everyone else's kits. So you should be getting one if you have a QT at home. And then I don't think that your kits came with gloves, but you can order these separately. My code works on all of these attachments and they can also be plugged in to your MyLift QT. So every single attachment the 70 Wellness makes works with the MyLift QT device, which is why I personally feel it is exponentially better than every other handheld on the market. Your device also comes with a charging cord. What's so nice about your charging cord is that it comes with a wall plug. So many devices do not come with this extra piece and this really makes life easier. Lastly, your kit will come with four ounces of the Restore Conductivity Gel. This is my favorite gel that 70 Wellness makes. If you're interested in getting a face mask, that you would like to use for conductivity. You could also go on their website and purchase their ATP Booster Mask. So the ATP Booster Mask is a face mask or facial treatment that can be used as your conductivity gel. It can be used in replace of gel or layered underneath gel for added conductivity. I find that it works really well on its own. What's so great about the ATP Booster Mask is that it's a face mask, you get a facial treatment, it's a conductivity gel. You can use it with all of the MyLift devices or any microcurrent device that you might have. And it has this ingredient called ergothionine that actually stimulates ATP, that's cellular energy. So it's a great way of enhancing the microcurrent treatments that you're already doing. All right, so I'm gonna open up my app. So this is what your opening screen is gonna look like. I'm gonna try to split the screen so that you can see what I see. So once you've set up your app, you've registered your device and created an account, you're going to have access to all of the treatments. You can go to how to use, and this will walk you through via multiple videos of how to set up your device. There's unboxing videos a welcome video at the end. This is really helpful information to go over how to actually use your device. I'm gonna exit out of that. Now we have our treatment page. So this is your home page. Moving forward, when you open up your device, this is the page that will pop up first and it'll allow you to easily access all of the treatments. So you'll have your custom treatments, your eye lift treatment, which is a 10 minute treatment that uses the MyLift eye conductivity mask with the erase setting. Then there's a 10 minute lip treatment that uses the MyLift conductivity lip mask. Again, for 10 minutes, on the erase setting. Then there's the face lift treatment. This is a full face 15 minute treatment that uses the probes on the MyoLift handheld device. Now your device also works with the MyoLift conductivity gloves. Unfortunately, they're not part of the MyoLift QT package, but you can easily order them separately. Um, so these are what the gloves look like. To use your device using the connectivity gloves, you're gonna go to custom treatment. Now you can modify your treatment and here at the bottom where it says applicator, you're gonna click the applicator tab. So for the gloves, you're just gonna hit connectivity gloves and then you can set your intensity, both the max intensity and the low intensity and you can figure out what time you want your treatment to be, whether it's a 10 minute or all the way up to 60 minutes, which you would never actually do, but there is the option for that. And then you can choose the mode, either erase or educate. So the pre-designed treatments that are available, all of those have video tutorials that show you exactly how to do this treatment. It's gonna walk you through the treatment as you are using your device 
So super easy to use, very well presented. One of the things I really love about this app. So I thought today I would show you my super quick custom treatment. This is what I do during the week when I have a couple minutes while Amos is sleeping. I'll use my MyOlive QT for under 10 minutes just so that I'm at least getting some microcurrent in. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. So I'm gonna go to modify. I'm gonna start with my metal balls. I'm gonna set it at 10 minutes. I'm going to put up my max intensity. Now this says 450. Um, I was told by 70 Wellness that this is a glitch, that they are working to correct this and that the device only goes up to 400 microamps. That is a little confusing that it says 450 here. Jesse at 70 Wellness told me that this device only goes up to 400, just like the MyoLift Mini. And then I'm gonna set my low at 350 in case I wanna jump down to a lower intensity. I'm gonna start with a race, but first let's put some conductivity gel on. So I'm gonna use the Restore Conductivity Gel. This is 70 Wellness's conductivity gel. It's the gel that comes with your device. So I just have a mask brush. This is from Wilder North, and I believe it's still available on their website. And I'm gonna take a dollop of gel and place it on the back of my hand like that and use this to distribute as I need. You could put it into a dish if you like. I like having as little cleanup as possible when I do these treatments, so I like using my hand. So I'm going to do a raise first. I'm just going to do a treatment on my face, not on my neck. So I'm gonna apply my gel around my mouth on my forehead and down around my eye here, because I'm gonna erase these crow's feet that are happening around the corner of my eye. And a fun way to know what areas you should be concentrating on are doing your analyzer on your high mirror first so you know what parts of your face are showing more fine lines and wrinkles than maybe even you even see. And then you can track your progress using the high mirror, which I think is a fun way to integrate these two devices. Okay, so I have my gel on. Now I'm going to save my treatment and I'm gonna hit start. It's connecting to the device. I'm going to turn on my device and hold it near my phone. It beeps when it's on and it turns blue and it's gonna redirect me back to my treatment screen and my time has started. So I'm gonna go high and we're gonna start with a race. So I'm gonna start here at the chin. When I have conductivity, it buzzes at me when I first place it on the skin. And I'm just gonna do some glides down here on my, my mentalis. three on each side. Now, I'm just gonna do some little half circles in both directions. Again, this is a treatment I do. This is not a Myolif custom treatment because I have just one handheld instead of two probes, like when I do my Myolif mini treatments. I like doing the movements in both directions, especially around the eye and mouth which are sphincter muscles. So it's one continuous muscle that goes all the way around the mouth. So I'm just gonna go back and forth here and we're just working to stretch it out. You can also just do little glides out like this and out like that. Okay, and now I'm gonna move to my forehead. I'm gonna glide up, starting in the center. I'm gonna do all the glides up, stretching it out. Go to the other side. I like going from the brow up. Okay, and then I'm gonna glide out. 
Again, so I'm just hitting these muscles from different directions. Now here, I'm gonna glide out at the brow. I get some bunny lines here and some 11s. So I'm gonna really try and get here. Again, it'll buzz every time I am getting conductivity again. So I'm just stretching this out. And go down, stretch it out here, stretch it up. This is an area of concern for me, so I spend a little extra time. And you can do more on the forehead too. Again, another area of concern for me. And I'm gonna glide up, stretching out this muscle this way. Do a few passes up and then a few down. Again, this muscle is a sphincter, so we are stretching it out in both directions. Same with the other side. I'm gonna go up and down. And that is all I'm going to be doing with my erase setting. Now I'm going to add conductivity to the rest of my face and we'll lift. I'm gonna make sure I have it up here on my brow. So I'm gonna do my little brow lift and I'm gonna bring it down underneath my jaw because I'm gonna glide up from under my jaw up to my cheekbone here at my platysma to really get all of that area. Okay, so we are on high. I'm gonna glide from here up. Work my way out. If you want to do your neck too, you can glide all the way from here and go all the way up. And then I'm going to do some glide outs at my cheek. I like really carving out this cheekbone area. I'm gonna do some little holes here to get a little extra lift at the jawline. Gliding out, go across the cheekbone. I like going up and then over. And go in this way and out. Then we'll go here underneath the brow and do some little holds. to get a nice little lift. And just go back and forth too under the brow. A little lift, huh? Let's do the other side. Now, this is a treatment that I do to address my areas of concern. So my big area of concern is my forehead between my brows. So we focused on most with the erase setting. Then my next area of concern is like this kind of jolly area where I really want to get some lift. And I like carving out my cheekbones. So that's where I'm going to spend the majority of my focus. 
Now, if you wanted to spend five minutes just on your forehead, you could just do that. If you just wanted to use a race around your mouth, you could just do five minutes of a race around your mouth. If you're having concerns with jowls, you want to erase and lift in here. So if you're having some sagging here of the muscle, you want to make sure that you're adjusting any wrinkles around the mouth, but then also that you're lifting not just the mouth area, but the whole cheek area. Because if you see, if I lift here, I get lift down here as well. So even if your area of focus is the lower part of the face, by lifting all the way up, you're able to create more lift throughout the whole face. And you can just go quick little glides, do what works for you. Again, even if you only have five minutes, take the time to do five minutes of a quick little lift. We'll do eyebrows. Hold. And then go back and forth. And then I like making sure that I'm even. And there you have just a quick, easy, under 10 minute lift. I'm gonna pause it so you can see. Maybe I can do a side by side before I started and right now. Um, what's so handy about using the QT is that it's fast. Two, one, more in-depth treatment every week or every other week and try and get as many of these quick little treatments in throughout your week as possible. I always tell my clients that the best skincare routine is a routine you'll actually do. So even though a 15 minute treatment is going to be more effective than a five minute, a five minute is more effective than none at all. So if you only have time for five minutes, Schedule it in. Just do a quick little lift or a quick little erase and just focus on the areas that are most concerning to you, where you want to focus. Don't worry about doing a full face routine. When you're done, you can just close out of the app and hold your device for a few seconds to turn it off. All right, so once you've finished your treatment, whether you're doing the eye mask, lip mask, forehead mask, gloves, or just using the probes, whichever treatment you've done, you're going to turn off your device, you're going to remove your connectivity gel, and you're gonna finish with the rest of your skincare routine. On a normal day, you would remove your gel, tone your skin, apply a serum, a facial oil, a moisturizer, an eye cream, just finish the rest of your skincare routine. If you wanted to add an additional treatment or layer treatments, so first you're gonna use your probe handheld over a connectivity gel or a water-based face mask. You all know I love the Lucerne Alpine Rose Resilience Mask for conductivity. There are tons of gel masks or oil-free masks out there. Again, a little bit of oil is okay. And what's so nice about your MyoLift devices is that there's a connectivity bar. So you have your connectivity bar right on your app. So you're able to check to make sure that you have conduction the entire time you're doing your treatment. Then after you've done your probe treatment, you could do the eye, lip, or forehead mask treatment. So these masks can be applied directly onto clean, dry skin. If you use your masks that way, they will stay sticky longer. However, another fun way to use your mask is over a sheet mask. So I like to apply a sheet mask up on my eye mask. So while that's cooking, I'm not only getting a microcurrent treatment, I am using this on the array setting, which is going to relax any tension in the muscles 
around the area that I'm treating, but it's also going to push that sheet mask ingredients super deep into my skin. So it's a combo treatment. You all know I love multitaskers, so that's a great way to multitask with your eye, lip, or forehead masks. So another fun trick is to hook up your eye mask to your lead wire. I just put moisturizer and face oil on. So I'm gonna not stick this on my face, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So imagine it's here. I'm gonna take my lead wire and tuck it behind my ears. Now, sometimes the heaviness of this mask, even though it's sticky, especially after you've used it a few times, it'll start to kind of peel off. This is a great way to ensure that your mask is now snug on your head. You can read a book, you can look at your phone, you can watch TV, and your conductivity eye mask isn't going anywhere. When you've completed your MyoLive QT treatment, you're gonna wanna clean your handheld device. I like taking the clean section of a damp washcloth that I use to remove my conductivity gel just to wipe off any gunk. Ooh, it's very sensitive. Then I'll just take a little alcohol wipe and I wipe down my device. I like wiping down the whole thing. I just have a little drawstring bag. This is from the detox market. It came in one of my orders. That's where my device lives, along with its charger. And I just keep all of that together in my device drawer. This is my messy device drawer, but I have my Nua, my Bio Equas in here. I have a Konza one. This is my MyLift QT. I have my CO masks. I like these silicone masks. And then some extra gua sha's, my Anma, my little silk cocoons. This is actually really messy. Another radio frequency machine, all the rest of my little gadgets. And then these are all of my sheet masks, face masks, my new Terabella moisturizer. Mm. Kind of a hot mess in here, but this is what my bathroom looks like. My skincare. And then I just started using this. RMS sent me over a bunch of product and I am really loving this beauty oil. I don't know if any of you guys have tried this. It has an adaptogenic blend and Baruti oil in it. Um, super vitamin rich, lightweight. Feels really lovely on the skin. All right. So now imagine that you're using your QT a few times a week. When should you integrate it into your skincare routine? So it doesn't matter if you're using microcurrent in the morning or at night. It just matters that you're using microcurrent. You want to cleanse your skin, add a hydrating toner. Hydrated skin is always going to absorb the current more readily. Drink a big glass of water too. That'll help as well. Then if you'd like, you can apply a water-based serum of your choice. I love using a hydrating serum with a hyaluronic acid blend. You can use whichever water-based serum you'd like. Apply your conductivity gel or your water-based face mask that you're gonna use as conduction and perform your microcurrent treatment. You'll remove your conductivity gel or face mask from your skin. On your skin again, apply another serum apply a facial oil, an eye cream, and a moisturizer. So another question I get asked quite often is how to layer devices. Someone is using multiple skincare devices at home. How are they going to use them all in one daily skincare routine? Now, this is not for everyone, but there are quite a few people that like using multiple devices in their routine. So I do have a blog post that lists all devices in order of use. I'm gonna put that down below. It's part of a series of blog posts that show you how to give yourself a spa quality facial at home. Let's go over this quickly. If you're using LED light therapy and or radio frequency, you'll use those prior to your microcurrent treatment. If you have a gadget like the Foreo UFO, you'll do that after you've finished microcurrent 
and removed your connectivity gel. After that, if you have something like the Ener Charger device from BioEqua, you will use this at the very end over your water-based serums and or moisturizer, depending on how you wanna use this, to push all of your skincare in. Think of these as finishing treatments. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed my tutorial. I'm gonna put links to the High Mirror, to the MyOlive QT, and all the other products that I talked about, along with discount codes, down below. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you subscribe. I also suggest that you follow me over on Instagram because I'm gonna be running a few different giveaways in the next couple weeks both here on YouTube and over there. I'll be giving away a Ferreo UFO 2, which is on its way to me. We'll do a giveaway and I'll ship it out to one of you. I'll also have a Lily Silk giveaway and I believe a NUA radio frequency giveaway as well. So stay tuned for all of that. The easiest way to keep track of all of these amazing giveaways is if you subscribe to the channel. Okay, everyone, have a wonderful week. Stay safe, and I will see you soon. Happy holidays. Bye.